uh, when Steen finds out Sam is gone, we'll see a bit of a taken situation. What can you say about the two of them reuniting when we might see that? Oh, they're happy to see each other. <laughs> um, yeah, that kind of takes up the first couple of episodes. Um, and uh, Sam's kind of going through hell uh, with the British Men of Letters. Uh, one of the things we found interesting about this whole thing, though, is that Sam, th Sam thinks Dean's dead. You know, as far as he knew, the bomb blew up and that's what saved the world. Um, so he's really sort of really excited to see Dean when Dean shows up. Uh, plus, you know, Tony tells him, oh, your brother's dead. So um, that doesn't take up too many episodes. We, we get that over with pretty quickly. Um, but, you know, I think they're action-packed and, and all our characters are involved. Everybody has, you know their own piece in those stories so I think we get the season off on a kind of a bang where we see everybody involved that, you know, that we know and love slash hate What can you say about Rick Springfield being Lucifer and you know, why did you decide to go with Rick Springfield? Well, you know, I mean, you're trying to, you know, say, okay, we have sort of an aging rock star, so we need somebody that's sort of a rock star, but you need somebody who can act because this is actually a pretty um, demanding part so that sort of narrows the field of, you know, people. Um, we got the Rick Springfield idea, which, you know, frankly, we thought, well, that may be a little pie in the sky. Don't, don't know if we can actually pull that off. Um, but we did, and we were really excited about it. He started work uh, the end of last week, and it looks great. And, uh, yeah, we were, we were very fortunate. I mean, I, I'm not sure we were going to get there, but we did. What can you tease about him this far? Well, you know, Lucifer needs uh, the vessel to say yes, as, as you know. He's very, um, he's very good at the con. Uh, so what, one of the challenging things about the Rick Springfield thing is that he starts off as a guy who's uh, pretty sympathetic and he's lost, uh, he's lost his wife. Um, and he's tortured. Once he accepts Lucifer, He's evil incarnate, you know. So as an acting exercise, it's pretty, uh, you know, it's pretty intense. So um, yeah, but he's he's a good evil. I mean, he's, he's written pretty evil. It's good. It's a good part. You know, I think Rick probably saw that and said, "Yeah, I can bite this off." So. Will you have a chance to play any guitar? Uh, we're gonna see a little of that, yeah. yeah. You mentioned in the panel that there's not two horror stories. Any monsters or creatures you can tease? Um, you know, I think uh, nothing particularly new. We have a great demon in one of the early ones. Uh, we're bringing the tool back, the uh, Nazi necromancers. Um, creating new monsters is something I, I don't think we, we do our best. I think when you, you, you take monsters that the audience knows about and then you give them personalities, you put a different spin on them. And, uh, Eric Kripke used to say every villain is the hero of his own story and that's something that we try to do, you know, to give them a story as well and that's what I think has worked for us you know, best for, Thank you. for the whole five, six, seven, eight, ten, <laughs> eleven years we've been on. <laughs>